Hello, my name is Twyla Braves. I am president and co-founder of Citizens Council for Health Freedom. We are a national nonprofit organization located in St. Paul, Minnesota, and I am here to respond to your question about whether the government should provide health care for all. We have three concerns about that that I'd like to share that we do not believe that the government should do that. One of the first reasons has to do with patient care. It is well known that in countries where the government provides health care for all, that choices are limited, care is limited, life and limb are threatened. For instance, just look at uh, England, where just recently it was in the news that it topped 4 million patients waiting to be hospitalized for surgery. Or in Canada, where because so many patients have been waiting, something called a timely medical alternative has popped up, a corporation to send patients to other countries to get their health care uh, in a timely manner. Or consider India, where it was recently reported, I believe this summer, that the oxygen was turned off in a hospital because the government hadn't paid its bills, and so children died. The second reason that we do not support the government running health care is cost. When the government runs something, the costs are always higher. Everything is more expensive, from regulation to the cost for the agency, from the oversight, and from even everybody else who has to follow the regulations. Just the cost of following the regulations is extensive. Um, look no further than Medicare at the trouble that we would be in to just give us health care for all. Medicare has a $43 trillion unfunded liability. It is unsustainable. Then add to that the fact that the health plans are looking at Medicare Advantage and Medicaid as profit centers, as cash cows. Now the government cannot possibly run the entire health care system by itself and it would need the health plans to do it. So we are looking at a redistribution of income from individuals and from wages to the health plans. This makes it highly expensive. Let's just look at one more example, which is the electronic health record. The electronic health record is a mandate on uh, doctors, but doctors were only given $44,000 in order to buy it and install it. And yet the costs continue to pile up and they are not paid for. That means they're not paid for by the government. That means they're paid for by individuals, either through higher premiums or higher costs of actual care. Uh, so we're looking at a system that is just going to increase the cost exponentially, and this is bad for patients and bad for citizens looking at lower costs. The third reason that government should not provide health care for all is having to do with patient choices. Patients need and deserve a full range of choices for their medical care as they are unique individuals. So we all know that he who holds the dollars makes the rules. And when the government holds all the dollars, they will make all the rules. This will decrease innovation. This will decrease the ability to be charitable to those who really need it. And it will also cause a problem with medical ethics. The rationing of healthcare choices, the control over the doctor, the problem with confidentiality and the government having all that data on its patients. Already 48% of 18,000 doctors surveyed have said that they're looking for a way not to do hands-on patient care anymore. This is not the way that we should be directing the entire healthcare system to go. So for these three reasons, care, cost, and choice, government-run healthcare is simply un-American. Thank you.